Block number 137, Wednesday, April 10th, 2024, 7.38 a.m. Turn it to the Today Show. Gonna watch that probably the rest of the morning. I don't know what the plan's gonna be. I, as I said yesterday, I don't have to go into school till 11 o'clock as the first class got canceled. But if you remember, there's someone that's coming to check this place out, like do like an inspection from 9.30 to 5. And I don't even know when they're coming. I don't like how they have such a huge time frame. Like, are they going to come at 9.30 or are they going to come later and like at like 5? So I have absolutely no clue what to do. Do I just like leave at 9.30 and go out to the car for an hour? Maybe just listen to the 10 spot this morning? I don't know. I don't know why they have to do an inspection a month before I leave, which is really annoying. But I'll probably edit more of the video here because I'm almost out of storage space. I'll probably leave at 9.30. I really don't want to, though. It's probably because the men's game started at 9.20 on the East Coast. 9.20. Jeez, the 50-year People magazine has like 50 people on it. They have to win the Rock Johnson on it. I like that. Man, they went crazy on this. Michael J. Fox is there. I love that. I love they included him. I think there's two different covers. I have absolutely no clue, though. 50th anniversary of People. Nice. All right, it's 8.50. Just got dressed. I now have to do the annotations, and I just found out you have to have them printed. So I'm going to quickly do that on the computer print it and then i'm gonna head on out i don't know what else to clean i know somebody's coming in here i'll sit in my car till 10 40 listen to some epic tens music that way i have a view of the front door if i see anybody come in then i'll know that they have come in and i don't have to worry about it when i come back like i'm gonna be so mad if they don't come until like four o'clock when i'm actually back here because i don't know like when they're coming the 9 30 to 5 sometime between that that's like the worst All right I, got, I gotta stop talking i gotta do this assignment now it's very simple. Just got to write down random stuff. That'll be it. All right, it's 9 o'clock. It's been a while since I watched this. It's time for The Price is Right. I got to leave here by 9.30. I'm currently writing annotations. I literally just wrote Storm Clowns Gathered. Reminded me that the new season of Shuggy starts at 9 is 1. Because they mentioned Storm Clouds, and that's what I thought of. So I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Just going to keep writing random stuff. And if she sees I read the book, hopefully she gives me credit for it. All right, it's 9.09, just got done with the paragraph. It was very hard to read because there was a lot of words I didn't understand. I wrote it in here somewhere. I mean, you could just read here. Ernie O'Malley, maybe think of Sean O'Malley, and they mentioned something about Cork and Roll. That's the guy, the Grizz. That's the Grizz announcer, so I had to write that. And when they mentioned Warriors, my mind goes to how the Lakers blew a golden opportunity last night against the Golden State Warriors. When they say Dasha, Giddy, Sir, get Josh, Giddy, Chocolate Biscuits sound good. I mentioned Joey Chestnut because they said Jaws, that's his nickname. And then the final thing I wrote, in the final line when they say, I swiped back. For some reason, my mind went to Swiper the Fox from Dora. I mean, what in the world? But that's good enough. I mean, she can see, I re she can tell I read it because all that stuff, the stuff I mentioned is in that. So I'm going to print that out and then probably head down to the car at about 9, 20, 10 minutes. All right, the printing process is being done. Nice, got it done. Now I'm just going to clean some of this stuff up and then I'll leave at 9, 20. All these prices right games always come down to it feels like the final pick. She's got to get the car on this. 93. She's going with 93. She's got a, what, 20? I don't, 20% chance. That's right. No. And she's not going to win the car. It was 67. Ah, oh, you were going to choose it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this right now. It's time to leave at 920. I don't even have class until 11 today. Why did it have to be today? And why can't you tell like an actual time? 9.30 to five? What? Seriously, how on earth do you not know what time it's gonna be? So I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just, uh, What? here's what I hope. I hope I go out to the car and see them at 9.30, what the best case scenario would be. If I see them come in at 9.30 and then leave, that way I can come back up here again, but that's very, very unlikely. Gonna go down to the car now, turn the TV off and Pick this plug back up when I get down to the car. All right, it's 925, just got into the car. I moved the car up because it was way back there. And now I have a view of the, the side door and the front door. Unfortunately, my windshield is all like wet and stuff. I don't know why. But if anybody walks into that building, I'm going to see it. And I guarantee if they are going into my room to do stuff, they're gonna look like it. So I think it's, I don't think it's gonna be just one person. I think it'll be a team. But right now, let's turn the radio on for the first time today. Hopefully it starts off good. <laughs> Seriously? Justin Bieber, sorry. I don't understand this, everybody. I just don't get it. 
When I go on three hour trips, I never get any really good songs. But then when I'm just coming out here to sit for a while or going to Winco, that's when the 10 spot absolutely delivers. Justin Bieber, sorry I haven't heard this song in a long time. This is probably up there as one of my top 30 favorite songs of all time. Easily one of my favorite songs by Justin Bieber. I know a lot of people hate him, but I, I like a lot of his music. He's, he's got a lot of good songs. Sorry? You kidding me? I would blast it, but I don't want anybody to hear it. I'm not driving 70 miles an hour. Just listen in. Yeah. Is it too late now to say sorry? Sorry now. Sorry. 926. Gonna keep listening to Intense, but I might pick up the camera way too much of good songs he's playing. I mean, this is the starting song. Nice. Justin Bieber, sorry, starts this off. There's a guy over there, but I don't think he's going anywhere. All right, it's 930. Lumineers Ho Hey came on next after Sorry, but I was just picking up the camera because it is now 930. So whenever the people said it was 930 to 5, so from now on, I'm gonna be looking at those doors. At, also, at this time, I'm gonna edit some of the more vlogs because I don't wanna just sit here and do nothing for an hour. So I'm gonna do something, edit the vlogs, be productive, and hopefully somebody goes in soon so I'll know that when I come back, I don't have to worry about it. Anchor and Electric just pulled up. That might be the people with the ladder. I don't know if it is, but there's a legit possibility that is the people. We Are Who We Are is now playing by Kesha. I mean, the music has been really good. I'll put a list like I usually do. I think the people that are going to come into my apartment just arrived, and that's terrific news. I don't know if it is, but if they go into that building, I'm going to be watching like a hawk. It's 9.45. I live this now on. I just saw the guy. He went that way, so he's not even going in the right building. He parked on this side like he's going into that apartment building, not that one, which is very unfortunate. But it does, I mean, maybe that's why. Maybe there's a ton of people moving out, and it, this is just like the day they do everybody. Who knows? I hope he just does it before I get back. Here for me. What am I supposed to do? I'm going to get done with class at what? 11.50, do I just come back and sit in the car again? Oh man, why today, why today? There he goes, he didn't even go in that apartment, so nobody has gone in there yet. I'm out here sitting out here, nobody's even gone in there. Part of me, Katy Perry's coming on now. I was here for 40 more minutes. Now I'm annoyed that I thought that guy was here to do it, and now it's like no one's even gone in there yet. Here comes Spider Harrison, Mac in Miami is no more. It's Spider Harrison time. 10.06, gonna sit here. Another 24 minutes. No, 34, I can't even count now. 34 minutes and then I leave Bruno Mars. 24 Carat Magic is now coming on. No sign of anybody going to the building. Pretty unfortunate. All right, it's 10.17, Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake just came on. I just found out the Warriors last night shot 26 for 41 from downtown. That was 63%. That is the best three-point percentage in NBA history, minimum of 40 attempts. That's why the Lakers lost 26 threes. And that scares me a little bit because Anthony Davis, he's not going to stop that. He's not a, I mean, oh man, we're in trouble. That was, I mean, that's in history. That was history last night. Not the right history for the Lakers to be on. 10-18. I'm gonna keep sitting here. Why is there so many cars here? Guy's still not showing up, which I don't know where he's at. All right, it's 1022. Anchor and Electric is back. I don't know where they went, but hopefully they go to my apartment now because I do not want them to do it while I'm there later. It's 1034. I haven't heard this song in a while. See you again, Wiz Khalifa and Charlie Puth. Next year, this song will be 10 years old, which is just crazy. Like I said, I'll put a full list of songs I've listened to during this last hour, I'll leave in five minutes to walk over to the school. I don't want to. Essentially, it's like I'm walking over there for one class and then I'm coming like right back to the car. Unless I get like, I hope I get an email that says they were in there. I don't know if they'll do that or not. Five more minutes in the car. All right, it's 1041. They just played Sucker by the Jonas Brothers, but it's now Rather Be by Clean Bandit. Love this song. Pull the land and see. It's no time to head to the school for one class and then maybe I'll come back here. The guy that have drove the truck that I saw literally went across from me. So he's now up in that area. So he's not even in the apartment. So I think I've just been hoping that was the guy and I don't even think it is. I haven't gotten an email yet. Last time when they went to fix my curtains, if you remember a previous vlog, 
They sent me an email and that's how I knew they were done. Hopefully they sent me another email. Why is there so many people on this road? It's like, there's nothing, there, this little road is a dead end. Uh, I've talked long enough, so I've got 17 minutes to get to the next class. I'll go to that class, then honestly, I'll probably come back and sit in the car even more, unless I risk it and go into the apartment and I'm nervous. I'm nervous for sure. Because I don't want to go in there and then them show up. Time to go to writing class and hopefully it's not too challenging. All right, it's 12.11. I just got back from my one class. All we did, we just discussed the scarf thing that we wrote. And then we had to do an exercise where she wanted us to write down. She wanted us to find a sentence that we could use for our next essay, which is a personal essay. And then what she made us write down a word and then, and then crunch up the paper, throw it across the room and then read somebody else's and then write what you think of when you see that word. It was something like that. I didn't really participate in it because I didn't know what to write. But I'm now back, turned it to the Dodgers game. It's two to two. There are supposed to be people that are coming. So I'm taking a huge risk being here right now. Hopefully they don't come within the next hour and 40 minutes. I don't think they're here yet because I never did get an email. I'm really scared that I'm gonna go sit in bed or whatever and they're gonna show up. I don't want that at all, but you know, I'm scared, I'm really scared. I'm taking a big risk in being here right now, but if they come, then nothing I can do about it. But right now, I am going to play an MLB The Show game. I'm in like sixth inning of my MLB game. It's game four. If I win it, I move on to the World Series. I'm going to play that now, and then hopefully they don't show up, and I'll move up to the bed after I get done with that. Boston hits another home run. This time, it's a three homer. It's now 5-1 Boston. Looks like they're going to extend this series. Just a disappointing loss. George Brett just absolutely smashed one to right field. The first home run the Mariners have hit today, but unfortunately it has been a horrific day. Mariners trail six to two now. Who made, I mean, look at James Paxson's pitch count, 81 pitches. He's got an ERA of 27. I guess a home run is great, but finally did something. I guess that's positive, but overall this is gonna be a loss. Boston now leads seven to two. This has been the day for the Seattle Mariners. Look at this. Nobody gets it and the bases are loaded. Boy, if one play can signify what happened today, that is it right there. Mariners struggling mightily today. Ken Griffey Jr. off the foul pole, an absolute bomb to right field. But again, it's like that meme you see. Chris Paul hits a big three to trim the lead to 42. It's not going to matter. Mariners are going to lose this game. But I mean, I scored a home run in the eighth and ninth inning. I guess that's positive. For some reason, they took out James Paxton, who was... Only like 85 pitches, easily could have pitched again. Ken Griffey Jr. absolutely crushed that one. 114 miles an hour off the foul pole. 411 feet, Mariners still trail 7-3. And that's gonna do it. The Boston Red Sox keep their season alive. They went down 3-0 in the series, but the season will not end today. They went at 7-3. 16 hits. I don't know why I couldn't do anything against James Paxton. I only had one run against him. He had an ERA of 27 before this. 27. It's now time to move over to the bed. Maybe we'll edit some more blogs. I don't know, but this was a disappointing loss. Mariners still have a chance to win the series. Really good position. Like I said, I'm not going to blow four straight games. Just got to play another one now. Move over to the bed now. Henry Danger Thunderman's combo. You got to love it. All right, it's 12.55. I'm starting to hear some noises outside. I think my time is almost up. I wish they would wait another 45 minutes because that's when I'll leave at 1.40. I think I'm about to hear a knock on the door very soon. I really hope I don't. All right, as much as I want to watch the Thundermans, if we turn it to Channel 60, Mariners, Blue Jays starts now. I guess it already started. We're already, oh, great, we already have an out. Of course we are. This game started early because it was supposed to start right now. Mariners offense has been an absolute garbage show this year. One of the worst offenses in all of MLB right now. Honestly, they're like 28th of 30, so they are actually one of the worst. The stats back it up. Julio's batting 196. Not good, Julio. Going against Yusei Kikuchi, former Mariner. He's had a couple good games so far this year. I have a feeling Mariners are going to be in trouble again. Mariners strike out twice and they do absolutely nothing again. Yeah, here we go again. All right, it's 120, just moved over to the couch. Mariners, Blue Jays still tied at zero, top of the second. We do have a runner on first bait because Kikuchi just walked him. Gonna see you for 20 more minutes. Hopefully nobody shows up. And then I'll head back to the school. One more class. I'm supposed to bring my tripod, but I really don't want to because that thing is very impossible to carry. I'm just gonna do it handheld. Hopefully she thinks it's good enough. I think I know what I'm doing. She said we're just gonna, oh, foul ball. 
Um, we're just gonna be uh, doing the Gibson thing, so that's all I'm gonna do. I know exactly what to do, so this is gonna be a much more easy class than usual. I'm not gonna be in the room, I'm gonna be outside. It, luckily, it's sunny out. But for the next 20 minutes, I'm just gonna sit here on the computer, editing the rest of the video. All right, it's 140. The Mariners have scored a run. I repeat, J.P. Crawford has driven in a run, and the Mariners lead 1-0. Unfortunately, I cannot watch the rest of the game because it's now time to go back to the school for one more class. My camera's in the car, so I got to go pick that up when I go back down. Luckily, nobody came. If they're going to come, now is the perfect time to come until 3.20. Yes! And it was in front, one nothing. It's unbelievable. But time to head back to the school, one class. And hopefully, I'll be back around 3.35. Right, it's 3.36. Just got back. Check out the Mayor's game. It was 1-1. One to one. It was actually 1-0 to zero in the seventh inning. Vladimir Guerrero smashed one to left field. It went like a 460 feet. Mariners didn't do anything until the 10th. That's going to get down. That's going to work. Where's this been all game, Mariners? It's six to one. Where has this been all game? We had one run through the nine innings, like four hits. And then the 10th came, Kaurali homeward to make it 3-1. I was watching it when I was in class while well, on my phone. And then Ty France got an RBI and made it 4-1. And now Mitch Hanninger makes it 6-1. to Why can't we do this in the real? <laughs> we can't do this at all until the... Uh, imagine if we did this all game long, how good this team could be. But uh, today's class was very simple, as I said. We just spent all day outside working on our uh, Gibson projects. I didn't do anything because for the first, like, 30 minutes, I couldn't figure out how... All my videos were blurry, so I couldn't... So I was like, how am I supposed to do this assignment? Finally, she came over and said, how's it going? I said, not good. And then she, like, pushed one button, and it was all of a sudden perfect. So that was unfortunate. Um, then she asked me about my missing assignment, which I didn't even do, so I don't know how I'm supposed to turn it in. But <laughs> um, that was that. I think I'm going to do really well on this assignment. This is something I'm pretty good at. I'm C-Dog, C-Dog, or whatever she said. Um, but I'm going to watch the Mariners game, go sit on the bed till 4. And the Daily Wager is going to start at four and I'll move over to the couch. Hopefully the people have come by now. I mean, they said to five, so it's still, they still have an hour and 22 minutes to come. I really hope they don't. I'm really, really scared. Straight through, oh, that was easy, Blanc. You gotta swing it back. Oh, that was the inning. All right, well, Mariners don't give up these five runs. The Mariners have won a baseball game. I repeat, the Mariners have won a baseball game. And they win it by five. They didn't do anything in regulation, but in extra innings, the Mariners score five runs in the 10th. If you can do that all game, Mariners, you'll find out you'll have a lot of success. Mariners win six to one, 348 daily wager. I, I hope daily wager starts. I'm guessing it's, I really hope it did not start earlier for any apparent reason. 36, please tell me daily wager did not start early. There it is, four o'clock, nice. I don't know what I'm gonna turn it to, probably in Pride. Grown Ups is on again, then Grown Ups too, probably turn to in Pride Bill Jokers like I normally do, and then at four o'clock I'm gonna go to the couch, watch daily wager. All right, it's four o'clock. I just moved over to the couch. Put that graphic on the screen. ESPN Bet Live starts right now. Hopefully, Amina Marks does not make an appearance. I know she already will. They're going to talk about golf, and they're going to give it to her. Joe Fortenbaugh is back. Nice. That is pathetic, Lakers. They went under their win total. That's 17 times since 2000. Yikes. Bulls have to win one more game. All right, it's 5 o'clock. Daily wager just ended. Nobody came in here today, so they must have done it earlier, which makes me very happy. Don't got to worry about it now. But turned it to FX, Marvel Studios, Spider-Man, No Way Home is starting. I just remembered something. For dinner today, remember when I had those chicken nuggets? Well, I also went to Pizza Hut and got two pizzas. I've only ate one of those pizzas, so if you look up here behind the apples, I also got that milk from the motel. I have a Pizza Hut pizza. That's gonna be the dinner for today. Let's do a pizza reveal though. Pizza reveal. Woohoo, not bad. I'll heat that up. Looks good. All right, it's 510. Here is the dinner for Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. A Pizza Hut cheese pizza. Some Shasta twist. All right, it's 535. Just got done with the pizza, but I'm now going to play game number five of the ALCS between the Mariners and the Red Sox. Lost last game. Don't want to lose again. I'm gonna play four innings of this. And then I'm going to, oh, I'm at home again. Oh man, I didn't expect that. All right, I'll take that. I'm gonna play four innings of this game and then I'll take a shower whenever that's done. Hopefully I can actually hit the ball today. Nolan Ryan 2-0 with a 1.80 ERA, gives up a homer in the first inning. 
Austin up 2 nothing. I'm gonna have to come back again. I'm finally doing something. Vladimir Guerrero, a base hit into center field. Two outs, runners on the corners. It brings the gap to one. It's 2-1 Boston in the bottom of the third. All right, it's 6.02. Just got done with the four innings. I just can't do anything. I've gotten hit after hit after hit. I think I've gotten a hit in every inning and yet have one run. I'm hitting the ball 120 miles an hour, resulting in outs every single time. It's like, I just like, these last two games... I can't get, it, like, there's no breaks. I can't get anything going my way. Maybe I'll play the rest later after my shower, but that's what I'm going to go do now. Chucky doesn't start till 8 o'clock tonight. Mariners already played. They won. Good job, Mariners. Lakers played yesterday. I honestly don't think there's any sporting events. Maybe I could watch baseball. Right now, though, I'm going to go take a shower. We're at 625. Just got out of the shower. I'm now going to sit on the couch for the next 35 minutes. Then at 7 o'clock, I'll make popcorn. Move over to the bed. It's getting closer. It's almost time for Chucky to return and I am super, super excited. I also have to do my math assignment for tomorrow. The APY thing and APR thing, pick a job, what I want. I honestly don't know, I haven't even started on it yet. I don't think it's that hard of an assignment, to be honest. I'll have to look at it, but it's due tomorrow, so I'll probably do that tonight. The work is starting to really pile on right now, so I gotta get going. I mean, this is due tomorrow, and then I got a ton of, then I got the history tests on Friday. So it's definitely getting, getting up there and I mean, it's getting harder, getting harder. I'm pushing everything back to the last minute, which is what I always do, but I'm gonna see for 35 more minutes. And at seven o'clock, I make popcorn. As I said, go over to the bed. All right, it's 7.06, just made the popcorn, got all my drinks. I used up the last Kool-Aid. I'm gonna make some more later tonight. Combine two red Powerades to make one half one because I have a ton of Powerades that are like very, very little. So I just combined them to make that. Watching Spider-Man No Way Home, I'm going back and forth between this and Grown Ups 2. They both end at 8 o'clock, and then at 8 o'clock, I will watch Chucky so close. And I'm super, super excited. In fact, let's see what the thing says. It's one of those nights where there's just so much stuff on. We're the Millers and Happy Gilmore. I started watching this before Dodgeball that one, and it was actually pretty good. I only watched the, um, the second half, though, so I don't know if it's actually... The entire movie is good, but I just know, I mean, I can watch NBA. There's Grown Ups 2. Where in the world is sci-fi? There it is. I'm blind. Chucky. Death becomes her. Wrestles with some morality. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for this one. Oh, this is going to be exciting. I might actually just watch Werner Millers because I haven't seen the sec first half of it. I saw the second half. They got Jennifer Aniston in it, which that's pretty cool. That ends at 9.30, but I'm not going to watch it. So I watched the second part. Now I can watch the first part. It's 8.59. Guardians of the Galaxy is ending. I have waited six months for this day. October 25th was the last episode. Part two starts now. I'm so, so excited. So excited. It's finally back. Six months. I mean, a lot has changed in the last six months since this was last on, so... It's gonna be a sense of normalcy returning watching part two. Let's do it. Enough messing around. Chucky, season three, episode five, part number two starts right now. Let's get it, let's go. Put the graphic on the screen. <laughs> Previously on Chucky, you better go through a rerun. It's back. Let's go. Let's do it. This just isn't right. Look how old Chucky is. Oh man, this, I mean, this could, is this going to be it? Are these final four episodes the end of the Chucky era? I'm excited to see how this goes. Wow, we did such a long time for this. So excited. Oh no. This has victim written all over it. All right, every time it goes to commercial, I'm going to give you my thoughts so far. So good. Chucky killed that last person. Honestly, I don't know how, though. She, like, drank something and started coughing up blood. But Chucky isn't finding thrill in it at all. I'm so excited to see where this goes. I mean, I've been watching Chucky for the longest time, and I don't know if this is going to be the end. I know there's some talks of there being a movie and stuff, so this probably won't be the end. But Chucky's getting old. How is he going to not be old? I saw in um, the trailer that it looks like they bring back the original, like, Brad Dorff and his... Like, body self, Charles Lee Ray himself. Something's going on. I don't know what it is. It's probably not going to be this episode. It's probably going to be just like a getting started episode. But, all right, commercial number two. It's 8.19. Luckily, there's still 41 minutes to go. It's just getting good. Apparently, Jake and Deborah are going to take a trip down to Georgia. 
They're gonna try to do what Shucky does, voodoo magic. Oh man, this is getting exciting. Chucky just missed a golden opportunity to kill the president's wife, so his, him being old is definitely not helping. This is exciting. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this so far. I've waited too long. No way, it's the same doctor. That's, that's so cool. It's the same one. Commercial number three. This one is getting good. The doctor told them not to go after Charles anymore. Charles Lee Ray. And then the president is having all sorts of like, I don't know what you would call it, but like visions. He just saw blood from the carpet, saw the reflection of the person dying, but there was nothing there. It was all in his head. Something's going on with this man. I don't know what it is, but oh, it's getting good 30 more minutes. I think I'm gonna turn the lights on just because it's getting a little bit too dark in here. I don't like that. Wow, this is exciting. Chucky just made a reference to Megan. Oh, remember Megan, the knockoff, like weird killer doll in the new one? Just made a reference to it. That's awesome. Commercial number four. Time is running out on the episode. Oh, 18 more minutes. I'm, I really don't want this to end. It's so enjoyable. Ah, oh, man. Chucky just killed the president. This is the first episode of the series. The new... Oh, but there's still four episodes after this. I just three. Oh, man. Chucky's going out in a blaze of glory indeed. And that's it! The president has died. Unless it was just like a dream or something, which hopefully it wasn't. Next Wednesday it is. Oh, that was awesome. It's 9 o'clock. I'm now going to get going on my math assignment that I don't want to do. Oh, that was awesome. Bonus! Oh, look, we get a bonus. Nice. This is more of a supernatural episode. I like it, though. All right, it's 9.53. I haven't updated you in a very long time. When Chucky ended, I called my mom like I normally do at nine o'clock and I asked her about this assignment and it got on to a 50 minute long talk because I was so unbelievably lost. Um, my dad is the one that's really good at this kind of stuff and he's currently driving back from Seattle. So he's not gonna be back until like midnight. So I'm just gonna call him in the morning, but I'm lost on the loans part of it because it's like I have to find I have to contact, where is it? I have to contact the bank name and try to find what a good like interest rate would be for a car loan. It's like, well, I don't know what that is. I, I tried like, I tried looking it up and I can't find it. So I'm just, I said, I'm just gonna buy a Tesla and that's gonna be my big ticket item. So since I can't do that part for what I'm about, what I'm gonna do the rest of the night is I'm gonna do the create a vision board, what I want my life to be like, um, what my monthly expenses is gonna be like, monthly transportation, I'm gonna do all that kind of stuff, what I'm gonna be in my professional life, um, tell me, tell them what my dream uh, item is, and then I'll do the calculations tomorrow. And then I actually, I guess I could do the project reflection tonight too. So I'm gonna do most of it tonight and then just get the math done tomorrow. Um, it's 9.55 though, as I said, I still can't get over how cool Shucky was today. I can't wait for next Wednesday. I've talked long enough. Uh, at 10 o'clock, I'll turn on the news, and then at 10.35, turn on Jimmy Fallon. But right now, you can do some homework, which, I don't want to, but it's not that challenging until tomorrow. All right, it's 10.34. Here comes Jimmy Fallon. I'm still sitting over here. Almost done for the paper for right now. I'm going to watch some Jimmy Fallon, though. He's got some good guests on today. Adam Levine, Benson Boone's going to be on. So he's got two singing guests, Ella Purnell. The Roots. Can't forget about them. Let's sit here, watch Jimmy Fallon rest of the night. I'll end the vlog whenever I get done with this. Don't remove Lunchables from schools. That would be awful. I love Lunchables. Lunchables were my childhood. Do not get rid of Lunchables, that'd be awful. How to Solve Your Own Murder is the book I voted for in the final two. It went from 16, it's down to two. It's Night Watching or How to Solve Your Own Murder. Come on. How to Solve Your Own Murder, that's what I voted for. Please win. Who won, Jimmy? Who won? Oh, I'm excited. Come on, Jimmy. No. No. I, I didn't want Night watching the Spring Reed champion of the Jimmy Fallon book club. Man. 
All right, it's 11.02. They're talking to Adam Levine on Jimmy Fallon. But I just got done with everything. Got my vision board done. I'm going to print it in the morning. I'm going to have to call my dad at around 7.15. So I better get up early tomorrow. I don't want to, but maybe I'll set my alarm for like 6.30 or so. So got to get to bed now. I don't want to wait around. I don't want to go to bed at like 1 o'clock and get up at 6.30. That's not... And I don't like doing that at all. I don't like getting up early, but tomorrow I kind of have to. It's my fault for not doing this math assignment earlier. This is my fault. But oh well, it is what it is. Just going to watch Fallon until 11.35. And then shut it down for the night. That's going to do it for this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow.